right. It's been two years since I've gotten or refreshed my EDC gun. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the next EDC handgun. Let's jump into it. Okay, guys, so this is the next EDC handgun for the channel. This is not a Glock, which is pretty surprising because I loved Glocks, but rather this is a CZ P10C, and it is definitely not a Glock. And today I'm going to be giving you guys my kind of first, I almost don't want to say first because I have a handful, I have a couple hundred rounds through this gun, but this is going to be my first impressions because I don't have quite enough use behind it to justify a full-on review. So this is going to be my first impressions and why I chose to swap from a Glock to the CZP-10C. So let's jump into that. Of course, this gun is safety checked, just around in the chamber, and I'll keep the mag off to the side just for you safety sallies that are worried about me shooting someone. <laughs> okay. So first off, I'm going to go over what I like and uh, just my first impressions for the gun. So overall, I've really been enjoying this thing. It has been a blast and it's very different from what I'm used to carrying. And I, I think that in a lot of good ways. Uh, not to say that anything against the Glock. A little bit different than a Glock 19, though it still retains a lot of similar features to a Glock 19 in capacity and around the overall size, you know, uh, slide thickness and such. So now, so overall I have about 200 rounds through this gun, I believe, and that is quite a few for first impressions, but I have to say so far I'm really loving it. It is a very welcome addition and I'm glad that I got something that is just a little bit different and now let's kind of talk and now let's kind of talk about why I decided to switch from a Glock 19 to a CZP 10C. So the first reason is that I love Glocks, they're great handguns, but I wanted to get a gun that was not a Glock so that I had some more basis and kind of different brands under my belt, you know, kind of seeing what other gun manufacturers make. And originally I was thinking of a PPQ, but PPQs are a little bit outdated and not to say that this gun's brand new, it's been around for a few years, but the PPQ is a little bit of an older design and overall it was just hard to find them around here so I could either wait a few weeks and have one shipped in or get a P10C and I chose the P10C um, over something like a PPQ because I liked the updated design elements that this gun has and honestly I wanted to try out something from CZ and that's because I think CZ does a pretty good job with their grip and with their triggers. So those are some of the reasons why I went with the CZ. Now the other reason I went with CZ is because of the trigger and really just honing in on that. And I'm not going to say that this trigger is better than a Glock 19's trigger, but it is a different trigger for sure. And so neither a stock Glock trigger or the CZP 10C trigger are, you know, match grade, single stage kind of things. But I found when I was uh, shooting this gun that the trigger was a lot lighter and a lot smoother than on a Glock. and for my Glock shooting, I am still plenty accurate with them, but what, the thing I dislike about Glocks is whenever I'm shooting one, because of how hard the trigger pull is and how heavy it is, I find that I have to put a lot of concentration into making sure that the trigger is being pulled straight back and that it's not being jerked or it's not being flinched in any direction. Whereas with the CZP 10 c like this, is a very smooth and lighter trigger so it allows me to put more focus on my front sight and a sight alignment instead of solely focusing on the trigger pull. So that was the pr another primary leading factor to getting the P10C. Also price of this gun was another, another nice factor because these things come in actually cheaper than Glocks though I'm not fully sure I discount that because these do only come with one magazine and uh, these magazines are not the cheapest. These things are close to $40 a magazine, so I'm not super happy with that. They're anywhere from $35 to like $38 a magazine, so you can quickly recoup that cost. But um, magazine costs aside, this gun <clears throat> definitely is a venerable option, and 
like I said, I looked at this a lot, kind of like a G19 killer, and so I wanted to see what it was like. Other things I do like about it is it does have an ambidextrous mag release, and of course, the slide stop here is ambidextrous. So, it is certainly an interesting handgun. Uh, one other thing I have enjoyed about shooting it that I totally forgot in the first impressions is I do like how high the bore axis is and the fact that this has a very deep cut right here. So with something like a Glock or a lot of your more traditional handguns, there will be a little bit more of uh, this kind of... Um, so this kind of area is more filled, so kind of like your beaver tail almost area is kind of filled in, so it pushes out a little bit more, whereas with this gun, it's very cut in, and I like that because it allows you to really sit not just high on the gun, but it also almost adds a natural beaver tail without anything having to protrude, like how I have on my Glock a little beaver tail add-on, and that's because the Glock really doesn't have much of a cut in right here. So sadly, I don't really know what to call this little area, but I really like it and it allows me to get a lot better grip. In addition to that, the texturing is also very aggressive, which does present some pros and cons. It's great to feel in the hand, but it can be a little bit uncomfortable, usually when I'm concealed carrying. Okay guys, so in closing, it's been a fun gun to shoot the CCP-10C so far. It's also not been a half bad gun to carry. Once again, it is quite a bit like a uh, Glock 19, but I got it so that I had something a little bit different to uh, roll into the rotation for EDC just so that's not the same old boring gun every single time. So anyways, look forward to a review on this gun in the not so far future. And uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say on the CCP-10C or my new EDC handgun. So anyways, guys, that is all I have to say about this uh, setup and system. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, God bless and I'm out.